Well, good morning, my friends, people, family, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Road to Olympia, which is crazy, absolutely crazy, my people. Uh, <clears throat> good morning once again. Before we start, thank you for 20,000 subscribers. I appreciate that a lot. We finally hit that. Now we're on the road to 30, 50. I don't know, so whoever is new, my name is Dorian, doing all types of content, Young LA Holes, Young LA BTS, uh, fitness content, bodybuilding content, uh, lifestyle content, etc, etc, a lot of information, recipes, workouts and stuff like that, so if, you wanna, if you're new, subscribe and let's go for that 30k. But long story short, I already prepared my breakfast and this breakfast will be warm because it's the best, it's out of air fryer, so I really want to eat that fast. But in today's video, since it's the first episode, I'm just gonna show you our diet throughout this whole day. What are we currently eating? We also have a leg day today and I'm probably gonna have a mic and just show you a little bit because it's the first leg day after like three weeks. Today's gonna be a real struggle, but I know if I really go through this workout today, I'll be back on track because I've been absolutely exhausted. After Las Vegas, after my show, I immediately went to a Black Friday photo shoot for Young LA. I was immediately back on track, immediately back on diet. So I didn't have a reset. I didn't uh, relax or rest or anything like that. I was immediately back on prep. Uh, you watch the video eating whatever I want. I didn't have anything but one cheat meal. Uh, and uh, body definitely needs it. Uh, we are in a great position. Now it's kind of a reverse diet next week we are bumping up the calories already on monday and today is thursday so i wanted to before that film the first episode for you what i'm currently eating cardio right now is only 35 minutes i mean basically we are already ready to to hop on stage uh so cardio is not gonna go higher for sure food is gonna go higher over the weeks right now we are more focused to have more protein moderate carbs and uh, pretty low in fats and then over time we're gonna raise the the carbs up, lower down the protein a little bit. And in today's video, I know exactly what I'm supposed to be eat, but there's gonna be one difference because the last meal of the day is gonna be an interesting one. I wanna show you that. Uh, I've been tracking everything and I've been on 100%, but Alex did allow me to have something and why not today when I'm filming already videos. So with that said, first meal that we're gonna have, it's gonna be on the screen how it's supposed to look like uh, with uh, all foods and everything but I'm gonna tell you what we do have and it's gonna be rolling on the screen. We have a two slices of a honeybee toast, not changing anything. We have a 300 uh, milliliters of an egg whites. We have a 200 grams of a potatoes and 50 grams of a spinach and also we have a two whole eggs. I put only one whole egg in this meal because I was counting the macros to fit something in the evening that I'm gonna show you and I do need to disclose a couple of things throughout the day, a couple of little things throughout the day to hit my uh, macro goal, even though Alex told me on top of my diet, I can still eat that thing. But I just wanted to keep everything on track and show because it's really important. We are uh, four and a half weeks out of Olympia. So that's how the meal looks like. The first meal, uh, the calories and macros gonna be listed on the screen. Uh, and um, I'm gonna right now indulge into this. Uh, this is how we're gonna roll the video, start the video. Uh, I'm gonna definitely have one more uh, meal before the gym, which I'm gonna show with the gym workout. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna work on my online coaching. We are back finally from today, kind of on the track. I was absolutely fatigued all around the place, but uh, I just needed my routine back, sleep in my bed, and from today it is like that. So why not to show you? Also, you saw the whole procedure. I can finally introduce back normal caffeine in a coffee. So, you know, the Starbucks uh, concentrate inside, uh, a little bit of uh, uh, cashew milk. Uh, then we have a skinny syrups, which I do have a code as well. Uh, I love skinny syrup, so I put a couple of those and uh, enjoying with the breakfast. So yeah, client check-ins, you can apply, you can download the programs on everything, it's gonna be on the screen. Uh, you know, I love you guys and um, I'll catch you on the meal number two. All right. 
Alrighty guys, uh, meal two I prepared. This is gonna be a second meal. And with that said, my second meal is usually my pre-workout meal and pre-workout, post-workout. It has been exactly the same for the last 20 weeks. Same as a breakfast, same as a dinner. Everything is the same. Now we're just kind of reversing with the different macros, as I already said. Proteins are right now higher and my carbs were a little bit lower. Uh, it's gonna be around today 300 grams of carbs or something. And uh, I've been eating for uh, almost a whole prep, even like two, three weeks out, over 400 grams of carbs. So it's just like for body to recover and adjust kind of more protein uh, for a better protein syn synthesis and everything since your body is like a sponge. So uh, we are actually uh, preventing it of catabolic and kind of giving that push of a fullness and everything just to balance everything out, hormones and everything first week. Uh, I'm still fatigued and everything, uh, even though today is the first day I kind of feel a little bit better because to, to, yesterday was the first day that I actually worked out normally and everything, the workout wasn't good, but I am expecting today to be better. I'm going to push, I'm going to try to give myself everything in the gym today because it's a leg day after three weeks. I know I'm going to be extra sore, but I really want to push just to come back to that motivation in my head and like I can push even when it's the hardest and everything and then already as I said from the fr from Monday we are starting uh, slowly raising food up that's why I want to keep you up there because we only have a five weeks towards the show but long story short what we have is a hundred grams of a shredded lettuce 220 grams of a cooked jasmine rice seven ounces of a cooked chicken breast and a 50 grams of avocado nothing to show mega fit meals everything just in a micro and that's it in this case instead of seven ounces of a cooked chicken breast i put six ounces of a chicken breast but i'm counting the macros and everything how it's supposed to be on the plan because overall macros for today even with the added meal that i'm going to show you for the last meal in the evening is still going to be the same also mega fit code is changing all the time because apparently my code is leaking somewhere so the new mega fit code is going to be on the screen uh the best meal prep company saved me throughout the whole prep, still saving me for Olympia. Huge shout out to them. Calories and macros for this meal. Right now, I'm gonna sit down, watch some motivational Chris Bumstead leg workout video or something like that. Prepare for the gym. We do have a pre workout. Show you my pre workout concoction, and uh, we are heading to the gym just for this meal to let digest for an hour or something. It has been around our, yeah, around hours since the last meal. So until I pack my bag and come to the gym, I usually train around hour and a half after. Um, if it's a higher day, in more difficult workout, sometimes will be two hours after the gym just to let the food digest. But at least I need to have two meals while I'm on the prep. Uh, but now we're on the way there and I usually mix my pre-workout and everything. If you watch my YouTube videos, then you already know what I'm drinking and everything, but I'm gonna show you again. So first things first, we have a hydro jug, right? That's the thing that I've been going through the day at least like three to four times to that hydro jug um, when we don't have actually restricted water or a water or anything like that. So usually inside throughout the whole day is always aminos from Ghost uh, and hydration. Now before the gym, exactly the same. We have a, one of these hydration sticks inside plus aminos. And I'm sipping that throughout the workout and basically the same thing I'm sipping throughout the whole day. That's just my thing. Uh, then the thing that I'm drinking right now, so before everything, before the gym, before I sit in the car, is concoction of size and a pump. So we have one scoop of a size, which is technically creatine. And we have a two scoops of a pump, sometimes will be one, sometimes will be two, so there's no steam whatsoever. So after I drink that, pack my stuff, I sit down in the car, and then I sip the pre-workout on the way to the gym, because we have a 10 minutes to the gym. Once I'm done, pre-workout start kicking in, around 10 to 15 minutes, I always do 10 minutes of a cardio uh, before the workout to warm up my body, and also two pre-workout start kicking in, and then I start warming up and start my session. But for a pre-workout inside, again, we have a Cherry Lime at Sonic once again. And in this case, we have a Cherry Lime at All Out Legend. Two times today, uh, the hydration sticks, because I already sweated in the morning a lot on a fasted cardio, and now we have a legs, and I know I'm gonna be sweating like an absolute animal. 
uh, and it helps a lot, uh, especially going through a leg workouts and stuff like that. You got fast sodium depleted and everything. There is uh, no pumps anymore and stuff like that. So it's really helpful. And as far as concerned, all out, uh, usually recently I don't even have all out because one scoop of all out is 400 milligrams of caffeine. So since this is my first return, a real workout and everything, I decided to go with that one. But we only had a coffee today, so it's not so bad. So we are maybe 500 something milligrams of caffeine. And after that, that's the whole caffeine intake that I'm gonna uh, be having for today. I am on the way to the gym. I will bring my camera, I will bring my mic, since it's the first episode, and uh, then go home, rest. I know I'm gonna be exhausted eating the rest of the meals, and we have a nice meal for the last meal, so I'm looking forward to that. Show you that, uh, catch you in the gym, guys. Uh, by the way, Ghost Lifestyle, code Orion saves you 20% off. Oh, righty, guys, I hope you can see me. Uh, we are starting our workout, and I just noticed that I didn't bring my spare battery. And my battery is only 40%, so yeah, uh, this is not gonna be a lot of talking. Uh, we are starting to warm up. This is how I always warm up with the cardio, so I don't have to stretch a lot or anything like that. Not have a lot of foam rolling and stuff like that. Get a blood going uh, and uh, start sweating. After I start sweating, my mood is immediately in a, in a workout mode. I usually have a, right now we have a 35 minutes of a cardio per day, uh, 10 incline, 3.4 speed. What I tend to do is do 25 minutes faster in the morning and I always like to leave 10 minutes before my workout just because for me it feels way better when I start sweating and I can immediately jump in a workout and my mood is just where it's supposed to be. So yeah, starting with 10 minutes and then I'm gonna show you each exercise, one set. Let's get it. The music is pretty loud, so I'm just gonna be fast. I'm not gonna lie, after finishing cardio now, my legs are already wobbly, so I definitely am not back into my normal like energy and everything. I mean, I didn't have a rest or a cheat meal or anything like that, refeed. But uh, first exercise always that I start on my leg day is a hamstrings. It's a couple of reasons why. And the first reason is because my hamstrings are lacking. So whenever your muscle group is lacking, I will recommend to start with that muscle group. And second thing, uh, when you start with the hamstrings, most of the blood goes there, obviously, and uh, less impact is actually on your knees throughout the whole workout. And I do have a little bit of knee issues. I was playing soccer my whole life, so I always start with that. And then I basically superset that probably with uh, abductors and adductors, mostly just to warm up the middle section and everything. So. Uh, that's gonna be around four working sets on each exercise. Reps, depending on a, on a day, might pop it on screen, but yeah, let's dive into the workout. For the first exercise I chose today, laying hamstring curls. I like to start with something sitting or laying, just because obviously as the workout goes higher, you're getting more warm and more energy is there, so then later I can stand, but for now we are laying. Plus slow negatives up and squeeze. That's the first warm-up set. Now what I'm gonna do, jump immediately to our adductors and abductors, do the same amount of sets and uh, yeah, that's gonna be a first circle. Right after that, off to the, the inner part. Now guys, don't just do abductors and no adductors or, or opposite, because you're gonna make a disbalance and you're gonna have problems with your groins and stuff like that. I did that, been there, done that with the soccer and I always had a problems with the adductors. So yeah, keep everything balanced, keep everything the same. This is a warm up. we're gonna do four sets working sets, hamstrings, and these two exercises, and then we're gonna start harder exercises, and probably the main exercises. After the next exercise, I actually usually don't start with a quadriceps or something like that for this exercise. 
uh, you know, usually start second after the warm up will probably be like high exercise, the, the most difficult exercise, second one, and then I will slowly taper down towards more like isolation movements and stuff like that. But the second exercise will always be like the highest in the reps, weight, and stuff like that. So sometimes that will be a, either pendulum machine, either it will be normal squats, either hack squats. Mostly will be hack squats, but anyways, now since I didn't train legs because of the show for like two weeks, I still need kind of a warm up, I feel it. And this is also kind of a pre exhaust before our bigger sets. So, what we're gonna do is a leg extensions, four workout sets, uh, 15 to 20 reps, or depending, and then lowering down to like more heavier 10 to 12 reps. One thing also, when you're doing the quad extension, there is a multiple variations too of quad extension. So, if your toes are point uh, out, so like this, if you can see, then you're hitting inner side of the quads. If your toes are pointed straight forward, then you're hitting most of your quad, but this middle section, because you have a three heads over here, or if you point your toes inside, then you're hitting outer quads. So like this, for example. So for me, I'm missing a lot of outer quads. My inner quads are really good from a soccer. So I usually tend to do everything, either narrow stand, either pointed toes inwards, but um, you can do whatever you want to do, so. Okay, that was already actually second set. Uh, finishing this four sets, off to the next one. Okay, change of plans, guys, once again. Before jumping into our main exercises, I don't even know how I put the camera. I feel since my knees are kind of, I feel my knees a lot today. Uh, it's from dryness, it's from water depletion, it's from being body fat depleted and everything. I decided to superset quad extensions with uh, this sitting uh, hamstring curls, which is also one of my favorite exercises. So it's gonna be same as a quad extension back to back four sets to really get that blood going. So the last impact is actually on the knees because muscles are already working. Everything, whole blood is in a, in a quads and, a, and basically a hamstrings. So after we put the knee sleeves on, a lot less pressure is gonna be on the knees. So four sets, again, this one I might do until failure heavy set, just because this might be our last success exercise for today. So next leg workout is gonna be more focused uh, on, a, on actually on a hamstrings. <laughs> this is shit show because it's loud. It's I don't even know if you can hear me, you probably can, but anyways, we are already on a four place. This is the second set. I decided instead of a hack squat to go to the press machine. Uh, we also have a knee sleeves already on us. We don't need any injuries right now. And this is definitely more safe because uh, you can control this way more and I can focus way more on my muscle connection. Also, what I'm doing right now is a narrow stand with my feet, as I said, just because I'm trying to aim for outer quads. Uh, same, we're gonna do four working sets. Probably gonna go up to six plates. This is the second set, uh, all the way till the failure, this one. And then we're gonna have probably, after this, two more exercises and we are done. But I'm also super setting this with something else, which I'm gonna show right after I'm done with the second set. So legs are narrow, a little bit higher. Time under tension, control, and explode. Slow down, all the way down, and explode. <sighs> okay, now what I'm super saying that with, I lock down this back so we can't get injured. And this machine actually has a thing for the toes. So I'm actually super setting this with the calf raises instantly which saves us some time and we do need to do calves as well. We're gonna probably have one more calf exercise. But same, coping everything, four sets. This one, obviously calves, exhaust them all the way till the failure. 
and same as I already said for the quads, inner, outer, depends how you position your toes. Same works for uh, calves as well. If you position your toes inside, you're gonna work outer part of calves. Straight, you're gonna work overall calf and point it out, you're gonna work inner, inner part or the peak of the uh, calf. So I'm exhausted already. Um, oh, also, by the way, Minutes to Zeke overall champ. We got that belt, baby. Now off to Olympia. Yeah. Okay, though, guys, hoping I'm gonna get a copyright. I need to talk faster because uh, music is loud. But, anyways, uh, this is definitely gonna be our four last exercise and our last big exercise for the quads because quads and calves and everything is full of blood. Even just having a knee sleeves hurts pretty bad right now. And I think we did a really good job considering that we didn't hit our legs for two and a half weeks. We're definitely gonna be sore for a couple of days. And I also kind of want to slowly introduce this was definitely not slow. This was a real leg workout, uh, but um, yeah, this is gonna be our four last exercises, bigger exercise, last one, and then we're gonna have a calves as the last exercise. But anyways, they are doing a uh, hex squats, which is by the way my favorite leg exercise. Also, I put a band on it. Now you're not a pussy if you're putting band. What band is gonna do to you? It's gonna help you on the lower part when the impact on the knees is the highest. So with that said, your knees is gonna hurt a little bit less. Uh, the difference, yeah, the weight is gonna be lighter, that's for sure, but if you put more plates and you put basically a band, you can balance the weight as it is same, but still impact on the knees is gonna be less. So uh, we're starting with three plates and probably gonna end up to like six. So each set I'm gonna add on a plate, four working sets of that. And uh, yeah, then one more excess calves, and that's gonna be a wrap for, uh, for today. Also, as you can see with the band, you can control the weight way more. Last exercise, and yeah, I do have a different shirt just because uh, my battery died and uh, I kind of charged it. Now it's on 5%. Five, uh, 5%. And I changed in the meantime, and I just and I noticed that it didn't film at all. So I just wanted to show you what I did the last exercise. I did a four sets of uh, sitting calf raises, and um, that was a rep. So I'm gonna do for you guys one more. Uh, after this, usually what I will do is uh, to fully deplete and exhaust lunges, but I'm absolutely destroyed after this. I'm really hungry and tired, so we're gonna go home and make a post workout meal right after this so four sets every single set after failure i mix it around one set is uh, toes are pointed inner part then one set is toes are pointed outer part and then one set is straight forward and uh yeah overall four to five sets and a rep so hope you enjoy this workout now let's go back home all right guys i don't know which type of a car that Sam Salek has, but uh, I have no idea where he puts the camera. I wanted to say something, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just do it in a car while I'm driving. Well, I can't put a camera anywhere. I don't know how the hell man does it. So uh, I'm gonna give him sub subscribe right now just because of the innovation that he did with, uh, uh, with the camera. Anyways, I just wanted to say after we crushed that leg day, that a lot of people are occupied with like uh, muscle groups, how to develop them, this and that. Genetics, guys. Genetics plays such a huge role. I played soccer my whole life and uh, I always had a skinny legs. My dad uh, had a pre have a pretty skinny legs as well. And uh, yeah, I got them uh, basically from him. But my legs are actually extremely strong because my whole life I've been using them a lot. I've been running and uh, uh, all of that shit. And yeah, I can squat five plates, but my legs look like I can't squat one single plate, right? Uh, so that's the thing that's what I wanted to say. There's a lot of people that have a developed or all developed muscle groups that um, they don't even train. For example, my strongest body part is my midsection, which is one of the most important parts 
for men's physique. Also, when it comes to posing, I can engage my obliques and abs, which even professionals are struggling with. And I never even do abs. I really don't even do abs, and that's one of my strongest body parts. You can go against genetics, that's for sure, but um, you gotta find what is actually your division. What is your body type? I cannot be classic physique. I'm gonna need 10 years to develop my, my legs. I just can't, but my body composition, my everything is meant to be men's physique. So only thing that I need to put is some size, which is obviously easier to put on men's physique than on a freaking open or something. And I, when people say, oh, don't, I don't wanna be like you, or I don't wanna have legs like that, you're not gonna be able to have legs like that. Even if I train for 10 years legs, I'm never gonna have, I don't know, Jay Cutler's legs or Ronnie Coleman's legs, not a chance. No matter how much you eat, no matter how much you exhaust your body, no matter how much drugs even you put in your body, your genetics are just not there. So that's what I wanted to say. Off home to, um, to have a post-workout meal. I'm really hungry, see you there. Alrighty guys, literally just got home from the gym this moment and um, we are immediately off to our post-workout meal. Uh, I like to eat my post-workout meal instantly after because this meal for me is extremely fast digestive and then the closest gap in between two meals will be this one post-workout meal and then next meal after that because I feel like I di digest this meal really fast and I can eat the next meal. I usually eat probably hour after or hour and a half, which I'm obviously gonna show you. Uh, also, workout was better than expected. Today was the first day that I actually felt pretty good in the gym. So from now on, all gas, no breaks. We are back mentally and physically. I literally just needed a two days of my normal routine, waking up in the morning, doing my fasted cardio. Today, I'm probably gonna go early to sleep and try to keep that routine all the way to the show. It's only month uh, till the show, so, you know, that's gonna be interesting. But long story short, uh, everything is again, mega fit meals, uh, pretty easy meal. We're gonna have exactly the same like the pre-workout meal, uh, just no avocado. And instead of 100 grams of a lettuce, we're gonna have a 50 grams of a lettuce. It's gonna be rolling on the screen because I'm making it not right now, but you're gonna see how it looks like. 220 grams, once again, uh, of a cooked rice. Uh, and we're gonna have a six ounces of a cooked uh, chicken breast. I don't know why, I just enjoy my meals. It's purely like enjoyable for me. It's just, as I said, being restricted is something totally different. When you know you can't eat something, then you actually wanna eat. If you watch my video when I could eat two days in a row, whatever the hell I want after the show, I still decided to eat exactly foods that I'm eating right now. Uh, it's just a mental game. It's, that's, the, that's the part that people crumble, as I already said. Uh, that's the toughest part. Like your body can go through way more than you actually think. Everything is about the character and everything is about how hard you can actually push, right? So for me, how my brain works is when it gets the toughest, when I wake up in the morning and the only thing that I wanna do is stay in the bed whole day, when it comes to being extremely hungry, when it comes to can't even walk, but I need to crush my workout today because it's really important, uh, that's when I push even more because I know that 90% of people at least will break and stop at that moment. So knowing that gives me immediately in my head if I do it, I'm already, in advance, right? I'm one step before everyone else. So that's always in my head when I'm exhausted, when I'm tired, when I don't wanna do something. Only, only thing that you see should be your goal. And to get to that goal is to go through that day, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how tired you are, no matter how hungry you are, etc., etc. figure it out. Go there, show up at least, and uh, I'm telling myself when it's days like that, if I need to be in a gym three and a half hours, I'm gonna be three and a half hours until I finish the workout that I planned. So that's just how I roll. But anyways, the calories and macros for this meal are gonna be listed guys on the screen. There is six ounces of a chicken. Heating my meal up right now. Yeah, we're gonna have a 
pretty fast meal after that. Also, guys, let me know. I just realized I still have this mic on, and it's way easier actually to control with this mic. Let me know if you like more footage or like audio with the mic on. Should I just film when I film pull up eating the workouts mic'd up all the time, or I should keep on using what I was using so far? Okay, that was the meal. I'll catch you on the four last meal of the day. Yep. As you know, if you watch my YouTube channel, then you know what time it is. It's time to wind down. I am finishing my work and when you see me with the headphones, I'm usually editing the video, which I enjoy on this prep. Takes my head off of the food. In, in, in between, I have two, three hours when I work and I don't even notice and then I can eat already a second meal. Uh, also online coaching and everything. I'm trying to keep myself occupied a lot on the prep and because time in between passes by pretty fast and I can eat the next meal. Uh, when I'm having a rest day, then it's really difficult because the only thing you think is about the food. But we have a my favorite meal of the prep. Probably you already know the drill: uh, mega fit potatoes, mega fit beef, and we have asparagus. Just weigh the potatoes, put them in air fryer together with asparagus. Man, everything from the air fryer I just adore. Like literally, I can eat it every single day till the rest of my life. Air fried asparagus, bomb and uh, so 20, 220 grams of potatoes 85 grams of asparagus and six ounces of a 93.7 cooked uh, beef calories and macros for this meal gonna be listed on the screen mm, mm, mm. put a little bit of mustard and a pinch of a ketchup zero sugar zero sodium they really tasted like a fries because i made them crispy uh, so yeah, winding down, we have like maybe two hours of our work, tops, and then we're gonna have a last meal of the day and uh, wrap up the episode number one, Road to Olympia. Let's go, baby. What are you eating? Um, this actually has a great macros, guys, and it's really good, whatever uh, that is. Was that bagels? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot what they're called. I have another bag in here. I'm gonna show, show them. Kelsey got this, whatever that is, I tried a bite, I can't eat because I'm on prep, but what are they called? The better bagel, turn around for macros. So one bagel is like, what, 180 calories? Four fat. Four fat only. 39 carb. 39 carb, but 34 grams of fiber. So basically it has only five grams of carbs inside of the whole bagel, which is absolutely crazy. And protein is 25 grams, but it's pretty big it's like yeah it's pretty big one bagel already can hit your whole fiber intake not sponsored none of us Kelsey got that I need to show you my last meal so why I was in the morning this included one egg then instead of seven ounces of a chicken breast I put six ounces then in the last meal I also discluded this is how it's supposed to look like it's gonna be on the screen we do not have a 200 grams of uh, egg whites in the last meal and we don't have any fruit, so no strawberries, no blueberries. Why I did that? Because I asked Alex, I prepared in advance those creamies that I was talking about so much. And I've been left in the fridge two or three more because I only ate two after my show. And there are 300, less than 300 calories. So uh, I asked Alex, can I just, because I didn't have a reset, can I have a one creamy? Uh, one of the days he said of course and he told me to have that on top of my that's not a problem if i have on top of my uh daily macros but i decided to exclude because when i discovered that it came to almost exactly the same macros that we are right now and i don't want to set my <coughs> set cookie the fuck i'm filming the video i don't want to set set myself off the track and like go up and down, we are less than five weeks out. I don't want to screw anything. My body will adapt to like higher foods right now, but it's also kind of reverse. We're going to grow again into the show. Every week is going to get higher, higher. So I just started to match the calories and macros. So we literally match with this meal. I just excluded some things which I would prefer to enjoy this. Also, you're probably wondering if I already have the calories and macros, uh, why the hell I can't eat stuff like that. This is exception because I didn't have a real cheat day or rest or reset from my show. And it's not the same if you are eating, calm down, cookie. It's not the same if you are eating all the time uh, different foods 
or you're on a structured meal plan like we are. Because if you get water, if something changes, if your weight goes up or anything like that, basically you don't know why. Especially now preparing for Olympia, it's really important to stay on track with everything, consistent with everything. We literally don't even change the, uh, the refeed carb up up leading up to show two three days food it's exactly the same just a bigger volume and a water manipulation so yeah i'm gonna enjoy this probably last enjoyable creamy the uh, next five weeks basically we're not gonna have anything just gonna pop this on the screen this one is a chocolate peanut butter fudge brownie and gonna mm -hmm. be on the screen calories and macros then i'm gonna put the whole day how it's supposed to look like meal my meal plan and everything, the, the, we don't have macros, or we do, I don't know. We don't even count macros, I'm just following the plan. But I did count it, and uh, it literally ended up, I'm gonna show you, it ended up with my creamy. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how I'm eating. Besides that, as I said, I have a bowl of oatmeal. I make that in the morning, if you follow my channel. We have only 80 grams of oatmeal, chill, hey! I put a gelatin inside, uh, and I put it in a uh, fridge basically whole day, so it ends up, being literally like a cake inside our uh, skinny syrups that I put in the morning as I said gelatin cinnamon and uh, 18 grams of a peanut butter no strawberries no blueberries no egg whites so that's gonna be my last meal oatmeal and a creamy calories and macros you saw everything love I appreciate you all this is the first episode of a road to Olympia we're probably gonna have twice per week so it's gonna be at least around 10 episodes leading towards the Olympia and of course we are going way earlier there, nine days, we're gonna be with the coach, Phil is gonna be with us, everything is gonna fi be filmed, whole show, everything, so stay tuned for this journey, thank you for 20K, let's now go for 30K, like, share, subscribe, love you, appreciate you all, and uh, see you very soon, as always on the next one, cookie, say bye. Say subscribe, sub to the channel, bye.